back. What was that? <laughs> I liked it though. It worked. I why, am I an opera? why am I an opera? Anyways, uh, we're keeping Pride alive. 2020, all thanks to our friends at Sam Adams. Love Thank conquers you. ale. Um, and of course, the one and only Karamo is with us and of course, Showbiz Shelly as well. Yeah. Hi, Brady. Hi, Karamo. Thanks so much for being here with us. We love that you're hey. here. Are you kidding me? I'm having so much fun today. This is like so exciting. And I'm pissed that y'all didn't text me and give me the memo about the yellow. I was right? totally got in with y'all. I'm a little outside of the group, but I still love you. I know. I would love to see what yellow you put on, too. Like, exactly. <laughs> I think that'd be cool. We're on the phone. We're like, how can we make Karamo happy? Let's wear yellow. <laughs> that's what we did. <laughs> so, so, man, it's, a, it's, it's an honor to have you on. Obviously, yeah. the, the, the parade, it is canceled this year. Um, it's one of, like, my, probably the most fun events of the year in Chicago I look forward to every single year. It's crazy. Angie Taylor usually has a flask. Um, we're <laughs> dancing in the street. It's a whole thing, right? Um, one of like my favorite parts about Pride and the whole parade, and that's why we're doing this, is Pride music. So, you know, I'm a music guy. I know you are, Shelly, obviously. Everybody's music. What, yeah. would be, what, would you, what would you put on your ultimate Pride playlist? Like five songs, if you could put on it. Oh, so I would definitely put um, um, some Mega Stallion on there because I'm a twerker. So anything that's going to allow me to twerk as much as I can and embarrass my son is <laughs> definitely what I'm doing first. Oh, time out, time out. Why don't you do it right now? Let's get a little. Are we doing a twerk? Wait, did you I say Megan the Stallion? Hey, come on. Hey. We can do it. I'm ready. Brady, are you twerking? Uh, I will be in two seconds. While singing opera? Hey! <laughs> I don't even know. I'm wearing, you know what? I'm Get in there! Get in there! Hey! <laughs> Look at, I'm wearing blue pants. I'm wearing blue spandex right now. So I, I feel love it. I love it. So Megan the Stallion, okay. Megan the Stallion. I definitely do like a couple of queer artists like Sam Smith in there, um, Adam Lambert. There's this other guy named Vincent who's super dope. He just did this new theme song for Queer Eye. Um, and then I'd put some of the classics in there. You know, I'm, I'm doing over more than five, but like a little Gaga, a little Beyonce, you know? And then also you got a the throwback to like the originals, like a little Donna Summer in there. Like just put it in there so that we all feel that disco vibe. So that's about my playlist. I like it. And by the way, we have an amazing um, I Heart Radio station. It's Pride Radio. It's, uh, it's, if you haven't listened to it, spend some time with it. It's everything. It's like, it's dance, it's fun. Uh, it's party. It's perfect for like what we're doing right now. Uh, you know, when you're not listening to 1035 Kids FM. But I'm going to add two more real quick. And then I know some things to ask you. Madonna. On my list. On, into the groove, right? Like that's one. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I'm, I'm, I'm one of those. My fiance is 10 years older than me. And he's looking at me with a dirty eye right now. Because <laughs> Madonna is his icon. Um, sometimes I just am like, uh, I'm okay. He literally, I'm about to get a divorce and I'm not even married yet. <laughs> and then one more, uh, real McCoy, another night, spend some time, go back to that. About that. I'm so about that. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Nice. Nice. Uh, so Karamo, you recently posted on your social media all about mental health and sort of checking in on yourself during these times, especially that we've been having. So I'm wondering if you can kind of talk us through that, how you do it for yourself and then any recommendations that you have for all of us, because we all need it right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> Like literally nobody saw on January 1st when we were all like, 2020 is our year. None of us saw this coming. I'm like, oh, everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I think the biggest thing that I would always say to people is not to compare yourself to others because it gets really easy in this time of seeing people who are being active, TikToking, dancing, doing all these things. And you're like, hold on, is something wrong with me that I'm not doing this? We all handle, you know, grief different and we're grieving right now. Whether you know it or not, like you're grieving the loss of the financial security, the relationships, you going out, the, the things that you thought were supposed to happen this year, you're grieving all of that. 
So don't compare where you are in your grief to where someone else is and how they're experiencing it. So if you get up today and you're like, you know what? I need blue spandex. I ain't doing it. Which, by the, way, the blue spandex were cute. Yes. Um, that's fine. If you're like, I want to sleep in, that's fine. If you're like, you know what? I want to run a marathon today. That's fine. Wherever you are is fine. Just be patient with yourself and don't compare yourself to other people. I love it. Man. That's so good. Like, is there any, is it too late like for you to somehow run for office in 2020? It's probably too late. <laughs> it's past. I would vote Done. for Karamo. Done. 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 I'm running. I'm running. Oh, man. We got more performances, don't we, Shelby Shelley? We absolutely do. You want to help me introduce Brady and Karamo? We should both help. All right. Here we go. Let's do it. Up. Dea! Uh, Dea! Woo, woo!